The most powerful tool, I think, uh, in this section, though, conveniently it's the last thing we talk about, is this idea of something called the pivot table and the pivot chart. Uh, you see, one of the things I'm able to do is I'm able to take this information. Right now, it's just data. But if I start to sort of cross-reference everything, I start to look at all these different elements that I have, you know, sales, sales rep, region, month, one of the things I can do is I can actually take all this information and sort of look at it from a two by two or a two dimensional kind of table. So the first thing I'm going to do is highlight everything. Nice. And then I'm going to head over to my insert tab. Now inside my insert tab, you see I have a nice little table section. And oh, there it is. What do you know? Pivot table. Let's click it. It's going to ask, ask us a question. This is why we highlight first, is because it already kind of auto fills that in for us. We hit OK. And so right now we see nothing, nothing. Now, you know, the guide that I give you guys talks about how you should drag your month to the page section. And if you are looking down here, that's not page, that's not page, that's not page, that's not page. All right, that's really annoying. Which one's page? Well, if you kind of read the description. It's referring to the fact that the page allows us to sort of filter. And if you kind of read through the definition, uh, where are you? It allows us to filter. It doesn't actually mention that anywhere. <laughs> there it is. Page, filter. I told you. I told you it was there. So now all of a sudden, we can come in. I can put that month over here. Right now you see month just kind of appears right there at the top. I'll zoom in a little bit so you don't have to worry about doing it yourself. So month is just hanging out. Now all of a sudden I, I'm going to add region, say, to my columns. Click, hold, drag, region. Now all of a sudden I see, ah, there's my east, north, south, west. I can take my sales rep, for example. I can say my sales rep, I want to be my column. Now all of a sudden, ah, you can see, I can see, sort of example, uh, Rachel when she's when we're referring to Rachel's sales in the east, Peter when we're referring to Peter's sales in the west, Jeanette when we're talking about the north. But we still have this values. What are we going to be talking about inside of there? Now the easy answer is yes, we are going to be looking for sale. I can click, I can drag, and all of a sudden I can see, all of a sudden, their total amount in each one. Now, if you're like me, uh, we're talking about numbers, we're talking about money, so why not highlight this? So I am just going to go in here and I'm going to come back to my home tab and I'm going to turn this into numerical values. Yes, that happens. Double click, double click, double click. But one of the things I can take note of is maybe I don't want to see the total number of sales. That's a nice thing, but what if I want to kind of change that? I can. I can actually come in here and I can click on that little drop down menu. I can select value field settings. And this will allow me to do, oh, look at that, all these mathematical equations again. Maybe I want to see the top sale per uh, region. I can set to max, hit OK, and I get to see the exact same thing. Now, the other thing about this, I'll go back to some for a second, is I have the beautiful ability to take everything I've already learned. Uh, from the past and apply it. So the fact that I have conditional formatting, for example, if I highlight these columns, you know, my east, west, I'm going to avoid doing grand total because that'll actually skew my stuff. Um, I can come in, conditional formatting, highlight our top 10 items. I'm going to actually go down to 5 since you can already start to see this is pretty nice. Change the format. And we can see all of a sudden the east, the east is pretty nice. That's where we make a lot of our sales. North, north is still pretty solid. We make a lot of our sales there as well, but this is starting to get somewhere. One thing I mentioned is since I don't like these just being there all the time, maybe I don't want to see them. So what I can do is I can actually come in here, and you notice I have this pivot table tools section. I can select design. And over here on the left-hand side, you see I can actually make this an option. I can come in and say, well, I don't want to see the grand total. I'll turn them off. And you see, I don't get any on the bottom. I don't get any on the top. I only start to see the actual data. So, pretty nice. 